Rob, uh, so because I... Um, partly because I'm stupid and partly because I was on holiday the last part last week I didn't know Ms. Marvel had finished so I watched it last night not <laughs> realising it was last week it finished What? how do you feel about it all after it's all done and said and done? Okay so um, I, th- I thought it was a good show I think she's the best thing about it is her she's delightful isn't she I hope she's, she's other star stuff. quality yeah. so natural so believable her sense of excitement and joy and surprise and everything about her I think is great um, there are some things that don't quite land well with me I, I feel like it's, it's uh, it started off very much like a sort of a Peter Parker type story yeah. with her discovering powers and managing this with high school then it seems to go off on a track a bit and it starts and it got to that point where it felt like it was like a, a drinking game. Have a drink every time someone says partition. And it seems to sort of like touch on Indian history, but not explaining it enough for you to really understand it. So I felt like I was kind of getting the gist of what it's alluding to, but I was kind of thinking, why is this... What? Where, what? where, we, go, where are we going with this? And uh, there's a bit of a time travel bit. Yeah, spoilers. For which I time. thought, what's, what's that all about? And I, I felt the middle bit, I kind of felt a bit of a slump, really. I'll agree. What made me laugh, you know, what are they called? Is it the deviants? No, not the, uh, the displaced oh, the or something. The g- the well, gin, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, the, the gin, like, which is like the, yeah, like the, the bad the guys. Bad genie, bad genie type name for they, it, but they were called something else, weren't they? God knows how many years trying to get home. They meet Miss Marvel, and if they'd have just waited it out like a day or two longer, they could have yeah done it. but it's like no actually we're going to kill you do you know what this suffered from for me now overall I liked it I actually liked it a lot and I actually liked it more than I thought I was going to like it maybe because I didn't have any expectations so like Obi-Wan I had big expectations for that and it kind of fell a bit flat whereas this I didn't have any expectation didn't know what I was going to get so I enjoyed it totally agree it had that sort of TV drama feel to it and it had the teen kids outsmarting hired hired assassins and army. I like, I like, I like that bit, the Home Alone in the high school bit toward at the end. That bit was okay, but there were some other bits early on. Uh, there was quite yeah. a nice uh, uh, tuck-tuck drive with a lorry and that going through the streets. That was quite good. Where they got yeah, a, that, a, a that, lorry. Yeah, that chasing was certainly better than the bloody scooters in Boba Fett. Oh, God, yeah. Well, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I totally agree. Uh, I feel like that will be enough of a series. Although, saying that, I actually really love the family as well. I thought a mum and dad, a brother, a brother's yes. wife. I, I, I love having the dynamic of a superhero and the family know the secret. Yeah. So yeah, I mean that, that bit with it when they started when that when she went to India and then it's because she meets someone it's like, oh wow, you can help me with my powers. Oh no, you've betrayed me. Then straight away she meets another person. <laughs> yeah. And she just trusts them straight away instead of just thinking, no, I'm not gonna trust you. So she just blindly follows those red dagger guys instead and then that just happens and I wasn't quite sure how you know, there's something to do with this crack opening up that was meant to be their realm coming into ours and she, how she managed to close it. It didn't make any sense why she turned into a weird statue type thing and but that closed it, but then why her powers went to someone else didn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah, it's a bit vague, wasn't it? They were sort of showing these sort of bad guys. That, so so they, weren't the poli- they were damage control, weren't they? So it was the reference, which is links to the damage control that we've seen in Spider-Man film, yeah. I suppose, isn't yeah. it? Because that's in the, the uh, Vulture, Spider-Man yeah. his origin, isn't it? So that's kind of okay. Um, I, I, the thing I didn't like about the family, actually, I felt, I mean, I felt like the mom said everything in a really flat way. Yes. Now, I don't know. If, now, I don't want to be, I don't know if this is an accent thing, which I'm certainly not going to impersonate or mock in any way, but I felt like everything she said had the same amount of emotion. So, so she's upset and she would say things like, I'm very disappointed in you, Kamala. I'm, I'm just very disappointed and very sad with you. And then, but then she, something amazing was she go, I'm so happy for you, Kamala. That's great news. And I felt like everything she said was in the same blandness. 
but there's like a bit of a spark in some of the other family members. I love dad in it. I like the quite like the older brother and his wife yeah. and then the grandma and stuff. I felt like a lot of the other family members. And even the bit when like, you know, when they've actually found out and there's like a little bond a bit with the three generations of the women. And yeah. she's there with a mom and a grandma. That was nice. But but it what no one Mom never seemed to have a conversation about it. Like, well, Grandma, Ed, uh, what what happens if I put it on, or what what's going? What does this mean now? Are you going to be a superhero? And she just sort of makes her a costume, and she's just all sort of okay with it. And no one asks. Well, a question: If you told if you told me you were a superhero, I, I would be grilling you with questions. I, I always assume these things are taken off screen, and they're all maybe, like, but I just yeah. Mm, it, I, I just uh, that, was, that was a bit weird. Every time she went in to kiss that English boy. I was like, come on, she's got the geeky boyfriend that really fancies yeah. her. I'm like, he was in the friend zone, not the end zone. <laughs> yeah. But overall, I mean, this is going to sound awful now, but every time I watch one of it, so what we got, we got Miss Marvel, uh, mm. what was that, Hawkeye? Yeah. I'm trying to think, what was, was Hawkeye Bulk, the last one? Bulk, Loki, Falcon, Winter like, Soldier. All of these now make me realise how good WandaVision was. <laughs> because, Moon, because Moon Knight Moon, Moon Knight was the last one before this. Yeah. I didn't love Moon Knight as much as I thought I was going to do. I liked oh, it a lot. I don't think any of these uh I mean the worst one for me, Falcon Winter Soldier, was still like it was okay it passed the time, but I think you could tell where the plot had been they'd yeah. obviously done something to around COVID there to try and piece things together and chop Fair things. Enough, it felt, all, can't help it, it felt all over it felt over, all over the place. I mean this one, I mean <sighs> I love the fact it was doing something different. It's just like, you know, like the different Definitely. cultural side side of things were different. Seeing the different locations was was good. Uh, the different music. I love I love the way it did like Moon Knight. You know, where Moon Knight had all like oh Egyptian rappers all, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah the the, <clears throat> yeah, the music, the whole styling of it. You know, it could, it it wasn't just a, like a half-hearted a bit of a reference to something of another culture it felt like they actually adopted it didn't they in the writers and the directors and things like that you know what so i thought I was like a it, really i was interested a, I like really the way sort of, a really sort of good sort of nod you know how disney does these safe nods about society where the damage control go into the mosque and they say right we're going to need to see yes. and the guy says yeah everyone get your idea out he says it's not our first time and i thought yeah, oh, that's yeah. a really good sort of nod yeah. towards how yeah i like that stuff i mean it's not like you know because you know i don't know how how would it realistic or cliched or what anything a depiction of this you know American, yeah. of, of a, a family is like 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 this but um it, they felt genuine and I guess, I guess that's because it must have been written and performed in a way that you know they felt genuine they felt like a family that loved each other and you enjoyed spending time with them what